Hi, my name is Perry Sessions from Mesa Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to install the bridge theme and apply your chosen demo to your theme. First thing you're going to want to do is start by logging into your website and then you'll be greeted by the dashboard and go ahead and head over to the appearance option and then click on themes and there will be an option at the very top to add a new theme. Click the upload choose your file, we put ours in our documents and make sure you've unzipped the file so when you have the bridge theme it comes zipped and you need to unzip, unzip it and then inside the unzipped file will be a folder and go ahead and find not this, uh, we've actually already unzipped this file but there's the bridge zipped file and the bridge child so first we want to install bridge so we'll hit open and install now depending on your internet speed. Uh, we have some pretty high upload speeds, so it goes quickly. But do give it some time for more normal uh, upload speeds, about one to five megabytes per second. It takes several minutes. This just took us a few seconds. Okay, so then it will ask you if you want to activate the theme. We do not. We want to activate the child theme. So first we need to um, install that one. So we're going to return to theme pages right here. And then we're going to add a uh, new. So it's almost like we're adding another theme. Upload choose file and then choose that child theme. You're never going to uh, need to upload or never should upload or on top of uh, replace this child theme because this is where you'll make your style changes uh, even function theme fun function changes. So there's an option to activate the theme. Go ahead and click that now. And once that's been activated um, you're going to change. This is our, our theme used to look like the 2017 theme. You'll see, I'll visit the site in the new tab. It's going to look pretty plain. So we just have some test posts up there. Um, we don't want it to look like this. So I'll put a link in the YouTube video description for this. This is the demos of Bridge. Um, the page is, is full of demos and at the top you'll see lots of options. They categorize them for you. We're going to actually show you what we use for our website just to give an example of um, what you can keep and what you can change with the website. So ours was the creative agency. So um, this is what it looks like brand new. Big old slider, services, etc. So let's head back to our website and um, we're going to find that we need to install some plugins before we can install the demo theme. So this, make sure you look at this um, notification at the top and click begin install installing plugins. Select all of them. If you have a poor server, again, um, it, you might want to install three at a time to not overload your server, but we're going to do all of them here. Click apply. Give a little bit of time. Um, go back to the page that we were just on select all of them again and activate click apply and sometimes this gets caught up we've found a few times because the visual composer um, is trying to load so I'll just refresh it and I'm actually going to go now that I refreshed it there's the two there's almost always these two left behind so activate them apply okay so now those are all uh, applied and activated in our plugins. You'll notice our admin settings are changing over here and we have a new uh, setting for code import. So the name of this um, admin option is code import. We'll select our demo. To find out which demo is yours, because they're numbered here, you can, you can find it by word if you want, but you can also find the number of the demo right at the top. So this is number two. And there's actually two sets. They go from one to 100 and then one to 100 again, about. So we want to find number two. It's uh, You notice there's no number two here, so we keep scrolling and then it starts over. There's number two. Creative Agency gives us a nice look of it. And we want, in most cases, you're going to want to import everything. Now all the images are paid for by Bridge Theme. They're Shutterstock, so they have the rights to them and you don't. So you need to replace all of them before you start uh, using it. So then you click import and I'll give you this message if you want to do it now. Before you start importing, make sure that there's some options down here. Do you want a store? If you want a WooCommerce store in your theme, make sure to install that first so that it can apply the theme settings to it. Um, another good idea is to install the contact form 7. 
That is a plugin that this theme uses a lot. So we're going to open the, the plugins page and install that one, especially um, by just going to plugins, searching contact form seven. And um, very popular, over a million users will install it. And then it, what this does again, it applies the styles of the theme to your plugin because um, it's already on your website. If you do it later, sometimes it can have issues. So we did it first. Uh, we're gonna add the WooCommerce as well. Um, we won't go through all the settings, so that shouldn't take too long, but you can skip forward through the video if you're not gonna be having a store. And we'll see if we can get this to load for us. Just hit WooCommerce. And if you're using um, WooCommerce, this will be a huge benefit to have all these styles applied to it as well. So let's we'll give that a second. When you activate it, it's going to ask you to go through some settings. We're not, again, we're not going to go through all those at the moment. So we're just going to do not right now. Okay. So now that we've made those changes and activated those plugins, we're ready to import. And once you hit import, it will show a nice green loading bar. Um, now I've had several instances where this has taken a long time, it gets caught up, uh, it can break. It just again depends on what server you're using and it depends on how fast your internet is. It also, we found, depends on the demo you're installing. So some of the older demos seem to take longer. Like this one is actually one of their older ones. It's still newer, but they have brand new ones more towards the top of the demo page that we showed you. And those tend to be a little bit quicker um, on the install. So if you have an issue, we have noticed, we've had issues where it stops in the middle and you, um, you're just, you're just going to have to do it over again hit import. It sometimes will import a lot of extra pages if you do that. So try to make sure you have good internet connection and make sure you have a quality server to get this to import um, the, best, um, the best way possible. So now let's go check it out. It should have changed here for us. We're going to refresh the page. So that's it. Now our page is set up just like that demo and um, this page is, there's the contents in here. We're ready just to start editing it and replacing basically the template with what we need. Now we say template, but if you look at our website, Mesa Digital Marketing, it um, looks much different than what we have now. We have made several different changes to it. We've added a, a video here. We've added a header at the top for better SEO for our address and our phone number. And we've added um, instant call to actions to look at our pricing or, and see what we offer. So even though ours is using that theme, it's been uh, pretty redesigned, as you can see with that uh, option for people to start talking to us. But we do have something like the portfolio shows off the websites that we've done. That that's you're going to see. There's a portfolio here, right here. So we've kept some of that, but we we wanted this to show um, below it. So there's lots of setting changes. So. Your theme can be as similar to this or as different as you want it. It just depends on the time that you take and the knowledge you have to, to make that happen. But um, the bridge theme is a great place to start. We hope that this video helped you understand how to install the demo and that you can make it anything that you need it to be. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.